Instagram. Hello friends. In my today's lecture, I'm going to speak about the structure and composition of Earth. On the basis of composition, we can divide Earth in three different layers. The first one is crust, which extends from 0 to 100 kilometers. The second one is mantle, from 100 to 2,900 kilometers. And the third one is core, which extends from 2,900 to 6,370 kilometers. Now, I will discuss each of these layers in detail. Crust is the outermost layer of the Earth. It makes up less than 1% of Earth by mass. It is subdivided into oceanic crust and continental crust. Oceanic crust is found under oceans and is about 4 miles thick in most places. The continental crust varies between 6 and 47 miles in thickness depending on where it is found. The thickest continental crust is found beneath the mountain ranges such as Himalayas. A feature unique to oceanic crust is that there are areas known as mid-ocean ridges where oceanic crust is still being created. Magma shoots up through gaps in the ocean's floor. As it cools, it hardens into new rock which forms brand new segments of oceanic crust. Continental crust tends to be much older than the oceanic kind and rocks found in this kind of crust are often the oldest in the world. Oceanic crust is composed of mafic igneous rocks including basalt and gabbro. Mafic rocks are rich in iron and magnesium. The continental crust is composed of granitic rocks. The granitic rocks are much less dense than the mafic igneous rocks as they are composed of quartz, feldspar, micas or ferromagnesian minerals. So the oceanic crust is heavier than continental crust and is therefore constantly sinking and moving under continental crust. The mantle is hot and represents about 68% of Earth's mass. Upper mantle is partially molten and contains iron and silicon whereas the lower mantle is completely molten and is rich in iron, magnesium and silicon. The core makes up about 31% of the earth. Calculations indicate that the core is about 85% iron metal with nickel metal making up much of the remaining 15%. The inner core is solid due to pressure of the overlying rocks. The outer core is not under enough pressure to be solid so it's liquid even though it has a composition similar to the inner core. If we consider the mechanical properties of earth including its strength, toughness, hardness, brittleness, malleability, plasticity and ductility etc. We can divide earth in five different layers. The first one lithosphere is formed with the combination of crust and upper mantle and is divided into several fragments which we call tectonic plates. The second one is asthenosphere which is soft layer of the mantle on which the lithospheric plates move on. If you want to learn more about tectonic plates you can watch my lecture on plate tectonics. Then comes the middle layer mesosphere. It is strong lower part of the mantle which extends to the earth's core. The fourth layer is outer core which extends from bottom of the mantle and surrounds the inner core. It's hot and liquid. The innermost layer which is inner core is very hot but solid due to pressure of the overlying layers. I hope this lecture gave you an insight into the earth's structure and composition. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you have not subscribed already and stay tuned to my channel for more lectures.